Okay guys, so just wanted to give you a, another quick overview. I have the wings now attached. I have everything plugged in, hooked up, all the lights are working. Control surfaces are working properly. Um, canopy's not down like it should be just because I don't have the battery properly secured. Just kind of doing some rough testing. Um, just wanted to show you guys the decals that my wife made. Um, I got these from Cali and they weren't quite what I wanted and that's okay because being that my wife does vinyl um, as well, she custom designed me uh, exactly what I wanted. So, you know, it's all good. Um, and I wanted to show, I've had several guys ask about my airbrush. Um, this is the airbrush that I got from Hobby Lobby. It works incredibly well. It's a dual action. Um, this is actually a, another airbrush of mine, but this is the box for the one behind me that I'm using. Um, this is a bottom fed. It's also a dual action, same company, um, just a bottom fed. If I'm doing big jobs and I want a lot of paint, I use this one. Um, if I'm doing small jobs, I use my top fed, which is what came in this box. Um, these are the paints that I've used on this plane um, along with the Rust-Oleum two times flat gray primer um, but yeah these came from Walmart they're 50 cents a bottle and they work incredibly well um, that's the 1835 KB in runner that I put in the jet as well um, which is in there now and uh, just to give you a overview here everything is working and I will give you just a slight sound of the motor can't get too crazy in the house throttle cut I've got to um, put sounds to all my switches but I've been working on that with my DX8, we've got it set for three minutes uh, with this jet right now. That's typical um, with these jets from what I find. You might get a little more, a little less, depends on what you, for how you fly. Um, but uh, so far, it's looking really good. Got one coat of poly on everything. And uh, we'll be getting uh, the decals on before terribly long. My wife's gonna help me with that. Thank God. And uh, I'll be coming back to you and showing you what we're looking like. Um, but I just wanted to give you an overview of some of the things that I've used um, to get this plane going. I've had a lot of guys asking about my airbrush. That's it. This is actually my compressor, blow dryer. That is my uh, top fed dual action airbrush that came in the box I just showed you and my Awada compressor as well. Also, one thing, guys, you want to really take into mind on these airbrushes is always, and I think Wesley uh, talked about this on the Boozer channel, always put one of these on your airbrush. This is a water collector, moisture collector, and you just hit the valve here and it releases any condensation or water that comes through your line because if you don't, you're gonna start spraying that extra water out of the end of your airbrush and it's going to spatter and spit all over your plane. So definitely pick up one of these. This came from Hobby Lobby as well. Get a coupon for it. And all you do is like a tire valve. You just press that and the uh, fluid will come out at the side here when you have your compressor running. I uh, dropped my cap, but yeah, that's what she looks like down inside. And um, that's my airbrush. And also, um, you might want to pick you up a stand. Um, they're nice to have uh, on hand just to lay your brush in or set it in uh, when you're busy. This one uh, is really nice because it has a couple of ways. You can stick the brush in here or you can hang it here. And these also swivel for you as well. So. Very inexpensive. Uh, actually, guys, I got that one at Harbor Freight, um, and it works really good. So, um, yeah, guys, just a uh, another part of the video. We're getting close. Um, she's almost ready. Once I get her decaled up, put the last coat of poly on her. 
I will get her out in the driveway, do some taxiing, check out uh, the steering and everything else on it. So hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I love doing this and it's been a great project. Um, I appreciate all your kind support. And when I do the final on this plane with everything uh, on the plane, I will give shout outs to a lot of new subs, guys. You guys have been great. Thank you for all the new subs that I have, and I will call you out by as many names as I can. So um, be sure to join me, and uh, thank you very much, and I will see you before too long. Jeff's Custom RC, RC with attitude, and much gratitude, guys. Thank you. Hey, guys, I'm back. All right, I wanted to start talking about the vinyl that is going to go on this plane. Um, and what has had to be done. Um, I got some stuff from Cali, as I said, and uh, it looked great. Some of this, you know, stuff like this uh, is fine, but the actual scheme wasn't quite what I wanted. So thankfully, my wonderful wife does vinyl and started working really hard on this. And uh, she's got me where I needed to be. Um, as you can see, um, what I wanted was like the original um, Arctic Aggressor, which has the basically drop shadow for the lettering here um, for the A and the K and um, the other letters on the back. And oh, look, it's my beautiful wife, Tara, Tara guys. Skip, you can put a face with a name now, buddy. Say hey, everybody. Um, she does all my vinyl guys and that I need and does it as I need it when I need it and helps me to Pick out other things for the plane and paints and things like that. So um, Yeah, I just wanted her to uh, meet you guys. So um, Like I said when I go to start putting this vinyl on the plane um, I've got one coat of poly on it right now um, Which will really help tremendously uh, as far as applying stickers or decals or vinyl with a tacky base paper on it because you don't have to worry about peeling your paint. Um, so when I start laying these on, uh, they're gonna look really good and really make this plane come alive. And then what I will do after I get the vinyl applied, I will go in with a very low uh, iron that I have for, it was a Monaco, uh, iron actually for doing balsa and monaco type covering planes. I will take that iron on low heat and I will go over each um, vinyl um, decal that's on this plane and what that does is and Wesley talked about this on the uh, Mary Boozer's channel um, and it works great. The low heat actually activates the glue on the vinyl or the decal and actually makes it stick really good uh, to the plane um, main thing is you just want to rub gently over the decal to make that glue activate so that it sticks down really nicely and uh, that's pretty much it. You can move on. Um, I'll show you when I do that uh, the temperature that I run my iron at. Um, like I said, it's low heat um, so you don't want to mess up your foam. Um, and uh, just go over it gently. Um, after I do that and get all the decals on, I will go back and put a second coat of polyacrylic clear matte um, on this entire plane again, except for the canopy. The canopy's already been done. It's finished totally with two coats because I didn't want to have to tape it back off again. And um, once I get the second coat of poly on, um, I will probably go in then and do a little bit of... Uh, riveting, uh, papa dotting as they call it, um, and a little bit of weathering. Don't want a whole lot on this plane and I've been doing a lot of research on these planes and looking at real pictures. Hence the reason I wanted the letters to look exactly like what I was looking for. Um, but they don't have a ton of rivets um, from everything that I can see and pull in. They're pretty sleek. There's some riveting around some of the uh, panel lines as far as like the access hatches and things like that. Um, maybe around some of these round places on the wing, I will put a few rivets. 
uh, actually bigger than smaller. Um, and then what I will do is go in with some dark uh, watered down paint and acrylic and on a brush and I will brush it into the panel lines where I want to see it more give it a couple of minutes or so and take a rag or paper towel and wipe across it to basically pull out more of the moisture but leave just enough of the dark in the lines that I want to keep um, another great thing about the polyacrylic guys is that um, once you um, polyacrylic these planes anything you go back over it with to weather your panel lines and things like that you can wipe it right off if you don't like it um, once you have the poly on there um, the the paint water down paint will kind of set in the lines it will start to dry when you wipe you can take off pretty much a lot of it which is kind of what I want to do this plane's turned out really nice and I don't want to over weather this plane um, most of them I'm seeing in pictures, they have a little bit of weathering, but not an entire, you know, just like they've been through tons of battles. That's pretty much where I'm at now um, on this build. It's 90% it's done other than some detailing, very minute detailing and weathering. Uh, the decals will start getting applied next, and that'll be really fun to get those because that'll really make it start to come alive thanks to my wonderful wife who did that. Um, and you know guys we also do the stencils which I'm going to be putting my um, uh, FAA numbers on here with the airbrush like the stencils that um, we sent Skip and Dave and a couple other people um, speaking of doesn't this shirt go good with this plane Dave um, yes it does um, so yeah um, I'm gonna be putting my FAA number somewhere on this plane very minuscule because that's all it has to be I will be using the stencil that my wife made for me and uh, showing you guys that as well um, because they're going to make it where it has to be on that plane somewhere so I'm going to start doing it every plane I have might as well get it done and um, have it up there so they, they are starting to find people from what I understand uh, talking to several people they, they are starting to look um, as if they have nothing better to do right um, so I'll be showing you that using the stencil um, like Skip shows you on his channel as well. Um, so yeah, I'll be back uh, shortly and I'll start showing you the decal process as they start going on. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for all the support and all the great comments that I've gotten from this build. I've really enjoyed it. I love doing it. And uh, stay tuned and stay with me and I will show you uh, more of uh, the finished product here shortly. Thanks guys. Okay guys, let me starting out first with just a small number that goes on the back of the plane. This is relatively small. It has the uh, paper on it to raise the decal and uh, it's going to go somewhere around in this vicinity right here. And um, I'll show you how I get that one on. I'm going to start out first by peeling apart the transfer tape as it's called very carefully very slowly you guys can see this all right now I'm just gonna kinda hold this up here roughly where I want it to be which is right about there making sure I'm level and uh, just gonna kinda gently lay it there and yeah that looks that looks good um, Hope you guys can see this. I'm trying to get so you guys can get a good view of this. And now what I'm going to do is just kind of take my finger and start rubbing this down. Um, I may move that up just a hair and push it down really well. Just rub it mainly just where the decal is. Then you can take the tape, put it back against itself like this, guys and just carefully come backwards just kind of moving from side to side a little bit and grab it here again just kind of come across here gently if you have anything that everyone wants to lift up just stick it back down and start over it from a different angle alright now 
that's that one on this side here guys that looks awesome thanks to the wonderful wife again and uh so yeah and that's basically where we're going to start so i'll move around and start getting some other stuff done stay with me all right guys so gonna re be repeating the same process on this side uh, over here that we just did on the other side i'm gonna just kind of look over here to get a good match as to where i want it and i'm gonna come same place right along in here and gently just gently touch kind of look at it that is where i want it so now i'm just gonna lightly run my finger over this guys i want to press the foam too much but i just want to get it stuck down good and now i'm going to take the transfer tape and ease gently backwards on itself just kind of working from side to side you can press a little bit as you go just these little letters you need to be a little more careful of so they don't lift on you but yeah that came off really well so now i'm just going to come back over that press it down and that's that guys and like i said i'm gonna come back with the heat over this again just to make sure the glue is really activated good on that poly and uh so yeah that looks really good all right all right guys so as you can see i've got my iron on low uh between low and one to the point where i can basically touch it with my hand see what i'm saying and it's not too hot that, i'm gonna turn it down just a hair more here um to show you just a little bit more uh right in that area there um put it on my leg just to give you an idea and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna come in here and just lightly rub over these decals uh just ever so slightly just to get them to adhere better to the plane um, like Mary Boozer was showing this works really good it makes the glue activate a little better uh, makes everything stick better let me pull this back just a hair and uh, just showing you how I am just rubbing over this we keep keeping the iron moving. And as I said, this just kind of helps to activate the glue. Get down in here really good because that's going to be a place that's going to eventually probably peel right in there, as you can see. So I'm going to get that edge pretty good there. Just want to make sure that's down nicely. This just really makes these things stick well, guys. And I'll take my finger now, kind of come back over, just feel of everything. Yeah, that feels really good. Swing that back around, make sure we're clearing good there. We are. And I'll go down here to these, do the same thing. Just rubbing over them. Keep the iron moving. Again, I'll touch the iron just to my hand just because I know it's not that hot. So I'll just keep checking it just to be sure. I'm just rubbing over these enough to activate the glue and get in any cracks or joints, seams like this here, just to make it look more scale. See what I'm saying? That panel line there. 
Um, check on these again. Clear this pot a little more. <clears throat> now I'm gonna start on this one here. Getting in the panel lines good, just so that it looks more scale. Keep your decals from peeling up, guys. Just a little bit of heat. Activate that glue. Push them down good. Go around your edges and your panel lines. Just to really get in there. And yeah, she's stuck good. So I'm going to go up here to these now. And just hit these the same way, ever so slightly, rubbing with the iron. Keep it moving. So yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys quickly just how easy that is and what a help it does for your decals, making them stick really good, uh, activating that glue so they won't peel on you. And I'm also going to come back over this with a shade of uh, another coat of poly, guys, so that'll help to seal those as well. So we're getting close, guys, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, as you can see, I have the decals on the plane, and I have them heated up with the iron and stuck down really well. And now I will be detailing some. I've also polyacrylic over all of these, and they look really, really good. So what I'm working on now is the detailing the panel lines and I don't want a lot of detail but a little bit so these are access hatches so I'm going in and just putting a few rivets and I am taking a watered down paint solution and getting a little paint on the brush with a little water. And then what I'm doing is coming in these lines here, guys, and just brushing some of this in, and I will come back and wipe this off. Getting a little bit of water on my brush, coming in here. I'm just doing this like this.
All right, guys, so I'm back, and I've done a lot of uh, detailing. I hope you guys can see what I've got going on here. Um, primarily, like I said, I did not want a ton of weathering, just a little bit on this, just to give it a little bit of uh, dirt in these areas around these panels. Um, just a little bit along the leading edges here. You can see back in here um, in these areas, uh, a little bit back here. So yeah, she's turning out really good. Um, sorry about not having the camera turned properly when I was doing the other part. I'll be starting on the bottom next, guys. Uh, we've got a few lines done under here. What I did to get the little bit of a dirty effect was I took chalk. And yes, you guys know from the Corsair video, I like chalk. Um, I put some on a paper plate. I took a razor blade, scraped some on a paper plate. And then what I do is I take a paper towel and I dab it in here and then I just kind of lightly do this with the paper towel. Then I'll come back with, this is a makeup brush that my wife gave me and I'll come in here and rub the plane a little bit, kind of do this. Sometimes I'll get a little bit on here if I want a little more in a certain area, put it on here and kind of drag. And so that's basically chalk, black chalk. And it gives a great effect on this white, um, just enough to give me a little bit of dirt. And uh, there's a better shot there. So it's uh, getting close, guys. Um, once I get this part done, I'll be setting all the throws. I think the decals on this turned out incredibly well that my wife did. Um, especially on top, the back here with the gray on white, I think looks amazing. Um, so yeah, so we're close guys. And um, once I get the throws set, I'll be taking it out and doing some taxi testing, uh, range testing, things like that. And uh, be getting ready for uh, a maiden before too long guys. So. Stay with me. All right guys, so I've got a slight bit of poly on here just to go over my chalk. So if nothing smears or anything gets wet or whatever, it won't come off, so that's all good. So now what I'm getting ready to do is I'm getting ready to put my AMA numbers, I think up under here, um, where they're slightly visible. Um, and uh, that way they'll be on both sides of the plane and look like they should as far as something that actually comes on the plane, but they won't scream at you. So I'm um, getting ready to do that. All right, guys, and there it is. Hope you guys can see that. It's underneath the back of the plane where it's not very visible, but it's uh, just all I need. And uh, that's airbrush with a stencil. So let me know, guys, if I can uh, get you out one of those. They're awesome. I'm gonna do the other side now. All right, guys, and there's the other side done. And now the numbers are on there for the FAA, so nobody can say anything. Hey guys, Jeff here, Jeff's Custom RC. It's time, guys, final reveal. It's been a long, drawn out process. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, history on this uh, jet this is the arctic aggressor scheme that i have done on this particular jet guys and um 
Arctic aggressors basically are out of Alaska at Nielsen Air Force Base and they are used for training to uh, teach the pilots how to use certain maneuvers during attacks and things like that from what I've read up on. Um, and they also not only train our guys, but they train uh, the British Air Force and uh, other countries to fight as well. Um, but yeah, this jet has turned out really awesome. I'm very pleased with it. I hope you guys will like it. I uh, put a lot of work into it. Dave's RC, everybody, check it out. Camo down to the pants too, guys. Um, this is pretty exciting for me. I'm so glad to have this done. Looks great. Uh, up next will be a Maiden. Uh, hopefully it goes well because I've got a lot of time invested in this plane, guys. So um, getting ready to show you the plane. Hope you like it. And uh, yeah, so here we go. Here she is in all her glory. Hope you guys like this. Get in close on it for you. Give you a different view here of everything. set up the rows are set she's just ready for a maiden now guys Beautifully, and next I will be bringing you guys hopefully soon, sooner than later, the maiden flight of the Arctic Aggressor F 16, 18th Squadron. Guys, stay tuned. 